excited about today's laundry. And who can blame him? This batch must be the most brilliant in the history of white. You've truly outdone yourself. <laughs> I must admit, I could just squeal with delight. Squeal! Yeah! Big squeal! <laughs> That's some dazzling laundry. Who is that woman? My mom. She's a full-blown clean freak. She's got the sick need to create blindingly white wash. She's gonna call it Car Crash White. <laughs> So far, no crashes. Someday she's going to cause a serious accident. Then she'll be happy. Tell me, small boy, what detergent does your mother use to get such dangerously white whites? Sorry, ma'am, but I'm afraid that's a family secret. It's more than my life's worth. Seriously. Well, if you set your heart on joining the whiter than white arms race, then you'd better contact my dad. He sells legitimate, if non-biodegradable, whitening products door to door. Thank you. I don't think I'll need it. Sorry I'm late, dear, but I was making a call on this great new customer, a woman named Beatty. Look at all these homemaking wonders she lavished on me. Here we have a few of her pies of many nations. Boys, after dinner, you must taste the one from Peru. Just <gasps> one bite and you're transported to a remote peasant village on an Andean mountaintop. <laughs> and it's low fat. <laughs> Incredible. What are these? Cheese animals on sticks. She made them too. Surprisingly lifelike. Aren't they though? And how she gets them to stay on those sticks in this weather is beyond me. You know, dear, you happen to be married to someone who has some pretty remarkable homemaking skills of her own. Did you see the skid marks outside? Uh, I did, dear. It just wonderful. Oh, I almost forgot. You've got to see Beatty's hand-knit Tyrolean sweaters. Just wonderful, dear. And how much did you sell this great new customer? Nothing. Yet. Trying to sneak that last piece of Peru pie, worm breath? If I want. Well, back off. It's mine. Oh! Where'd all these pies come from? Dad only brought home three. Oh, go get Mom. I may have brain damage. A minor injury in your case. <laughs> I don't think so. Too maritime. Here, then. Try this one. Mom, you really don't have to do all this sweater knitting and pie baking just to impress Dad. Maybe you're right, Lucian. Especially since I've surely outdone that beady woman by now. No, Mom. Dad likes her better. <laughs> More pies. Hello, everybody. I'm back from Beatty's. <laughs> and if you think the last batch was something, get a load of this. She must have remembered me mentioning my love of the old west. Jeez, cowboys on sticks? You got it. <laughs> Was that thoughtful or what? Dear, wouldn't you like to try the Tasmanian strudel I made today? Not right now, thanks. Oh, and another great thing about Beatty, I have never met anyone with such a tremendous interest in all that Haskem has to offer. All right, then. How about all you can eat of the two dozen different types of cookies I baked today? I'll pass, honey, but thanks. Witching. I almost spilled. You've eaten so much sugar over the last two days, you can't even sit still long enough to consume more. Are you worried about Mom? Do you realize she spent a whole night knitting cowboy sweater pies? I don't believe it. Now her pies and cowboy sweaters baked into them. She's coming completely unhinged. We've got to do something. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Your place. Why don't you calm down? Bug off! I'm going home! No, wait! I'll bet you'll give out pie. Sugar pies? Yes. Oh, hi! You must.
must be Beady. Remember me? I'm the young lad who told you about my father, Mr. Cramp. The hash chem salesman you seem to like so much. Ask about pie. Don't mind my brother. He's the victim of a sugar overdose. <laughs> you see, our mother has driven herself to the brink of collapse, trying to impress our father with her homemaking prowess the way you've impressed him with yours. She's completely out of control, so I'm begging you to kindly stop giving our father so many delicious gifts. Oh, what your father and I give each other is none of your business, so butt out! No pie? <laughs> Dear, mm -hmm. I got a couple of little somethings for you. For me? Oh, that is so sweet. Oh. That one's a hand inlaid music box, and this other one here is a hand blown glass vase. They're lovely, aren't they? Beatty made them. Uh, and how much did you say you sold this woman? Uh. <clears throat> uh, nothing yet. <laughs> oh, but my keen salesman sense tells me that when this little lady's finally ready to buy, ho oh, oh, she's gonna buy big. Oh, I'll bet. Dad, uh, <clears throat> why do you think this beady lady is being so generous? Well, beats me, son. But she wouldn't be the first little filly to fall for this old cowpoke. What if she's just pumping you for inside information about Mom's car crash cleaner? Oh, that's silly talk. It's not even a Hascam product. The entire blinding white range was pulled from the market years ago. <laughs> Your mother's secret subatomic whitener is homemade. Everyone knows that. But Beatty doesn't. <sighs> yeah, my guess is that woman will stop at nothing to get herself noticed. <laughs> Mom's worked for years to get a bit of respect in this town, but she wants it the easy way. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think we should give her what she wants. Mom's gonna kill ya! You just keep a lookout. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be famous, all right. Why, hello, my dear Mr. Cramp. Oh, please, come in. And how is Hascam Star Salesman this fine day? Good. You got any of that Bavarian loose meat cheesecake left? I've been thinking about it all the way over. Certainly. Why don't you just go into the kitchen and help yourself? Uh-huh. Has Kim top secret subatomic cleaning formula. Bingo. Make sure you use lots and lots. No, really, the whole bottle. <laughs> Celebrity. What's that noise? hung out some laundry that was white beyond belief. And she caused a car crash. Oh, well, how nice for her. But then it burst into flames. The car? No, the laundry turned to ashes right before our eyes. Oh, how humiliating, that poor woman. It sounds like subatomic overload, but how? Oh, you boys wouldn't know anything about this, would you? It was his, his idea. idea! I am furious. You're going to go apologize to that woman immediately. Marsha, Tandy, where does this poor soul live? 14 Sudsington, with the ashes out front. I think her name is Beatty. Beatty? Did you say Beatty? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, well, I suppose boys will be boys. More pie, Mom? about the most powerful force this planet has ever seen. The family. Our family tis of us, the very best part of us. We love one another. Bye. 
usually compelling. <sighs> You're so lucky your family isn't an embarrassment. Out of the way, girl pants! <laughs> That's not happy, Wayne, Mari. That's fear. Big fear. Miss Hissy Fear. <laughs> and even if people ignore you and say that you're acting hamily, there are some who will always adore you. I'm talking about your dear <laughs> family. Praise the family. Thank you. Participating in their salvation demonstrations is to fake having stage fright. There, there, Mari. We're done. Oh, poor Mari. Denied the joy of converting the lost families. If only she could be more like Calvin and Judith. Yeah, if only. Don't forget, we're giving another salvation demonstration tonight. Yippee! Perhaps. Lucian would like to join us. <gasps> no, uh, he has to go. Uh, okay. Excellent. You'll come to our house for dinner. Then afterwards... Salvation, Salvation demonstration. demonstration! Sure. What? Wayne Crab. Aren't we supposed to knock before opening? That's better, I suppose. But if you've come groveling to me to change the miserable report I'm going to give your parents tonight, you're wasting your time. And more especially, mine. Rats! And that is precisely the attitude problem I want to discuss with them. No, no, Miss Hissy. Remember those naughty rats who ate your hand back that time? Well, they're back. Oh, really? Yes, and they're even more rude and smelly than before. They squeaked at me. Why, that's unacceptable. I won't have ill-disciplined rodents interrupting my big night. Now, show me their lair. Of course, Miss Hissy. Please, follow me. You go, Miss Hissy. I'm very afraid of rats. Come to Hillary. I'm not going to bite. Where did you say they were, Wayne? Oh, further down, Miss Hissy. Way further! <laughs> Why would you ever say yes? I couldn't help it, Mari. Your parents are overbearing. Those long, hard stairs. I, I can't refuse them. We're all afraid, Lucian. But is this how you want to end up? Vacationing at the gingerbread house of togetherness? Weird. The weirdness is just beginning. It's Calvin's turn for the pre-meal recitation. If you live in a happy way, you'll always have a happy day. Family, are we? Thank you. No talking unless the bread basket is at your plate. Sorry. Zip it! Here, little vermin. Oh, you can run from your sissy, but you can't hide. Since you kids were especially good today, we're going to have our salvation demonstration outing before dessert. Oh, yeah. goody! This is gonna be great! 
You've got one chance to get out of this. Hide. Follow me. Mari! Lucian! You're missing all the fun! There you are! Oh, and Mari's hiding again, I suppose. Oh, poor Mari. Even in her own home, she's afraid. But you can show her there's nothing to fear, can't ya? Got you cornered now, filthy rodents. You've eaten your last handbag. In honor of Parents' Night, we are going to sing the daughter song. Perfect. My favorite. Mine too. Yay. And who wants to play the part of the daughter? Someone more like a girl. <laughs> now, who could it be? Excellent! You'll make a splendid daughter. Absolutely. What about Judith? She can sing the refrain with the rest of us. And this dress is just your size. I... <laughs> Another victim of togetherness. Well, he can't say I didn't warn him. You don't want to go! Boring! Of course we want to go. It's always nice to hear how Miss Hissy thinks you and Lucian are doing. Suppose she's not here! Don't be silly. Miss Hissy would never miss a chance to humiliate children. Wayne, I have to talk to you about Lucian. Girl pants! Don't call him that. He's in a very vulnerable state. He's close to severe trauma. Perhaps even a complete breakdown. Cool. We are here to spread good cheer. We are here to spread good cheer. We are here to spread good cheer. I think so many much. Lucian? I wonder why he never mentioned he was interested in theater. Hey, girl pants! How about a kiss? This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> I am loving this! Where's the camera? Wing! Crap! I smell a rat! Let us pay tribute to the apples of our eyes, our lovely daughters. We love our perfect daughter. We raise our voices proud. We ask of the old daughter. Sing to us right now. <laughs> yeah! Sing out, sister! Teachers only. Go now. All right, everyone. Parents' night is now concluded. You are required to leave. It appears we have a little rat problem in the building, and it's not confined to the basement. 